Thank you for being here. Good morning. Good morning. This is Deborah. Miss Spalding. Was that you, Deborah? Yes. I'm wonderful. Here. Can you hear us okay? Yes. Great. I was just going to I was looking to see who we're missing and I was going to ask about you. Um, I do we have we have Nick, Nikki or Gray, you are on, right? Yes, ma'am. Uh, is Miss Ruby on? Ruby. I believe we have all organizations represented and it is 901. Uh, so we will begin and, and we are recording right now. So uh, be aware of that. I'm Lee Emmons. I'm Vice President of Institutional Advancement here at West Kentucky Community and Technical College and Executive Director of our Paducah Junior College Foundation. We are very happy for you to take time out of your day to join us for this special awards presentation this morning. Um, we, of course, would love to be in person, but this is the next best thing and hopefully we're not too far away from doing some things in person uh, soon. We will ask that um, everyone other than the community organization representatives uh, mute and, and maybe go off camera so that we can see the, the uh, community organization representatives who are joining us. And organizations later, Dr. Reese will recognize you individually. And we do ask that if you're not on camera, if you have the capability that you come on camera at that time and that you unmute. Uh, other than that, we will ask everyone stay muted because you know how these platforms could be where can be where you get some background noise and and all that and someone's dog barks or <laughs> all kinds of things can happen. <laughs> so, but again, we're, we're delighted that you're here. Thank you for giving us your time this morning so that we can bring you some recognition. I think all of you know at this point that the college under Dr. Reese's uh, selection and leadership was very fortunate to receive a historic gift in December from, from philanthropist Mackenzie Scott, uh, which came to us as a grant through a donor advised fund at the National Philanthropic Trust. So you'll hear us refer to it as the Scott NPT grant. And that uh, gift is transformational and will make a tremendous difference for not only our college, but for our communities in our region. And we're fortunate that Dr. Anton Reese, president of the college, um, was identified through some of his previous work and leadership for the college to receive this gift. And uh, he developed a structure for utilization of the gift to ensure maximum impact as we go forward not just this year, but in years ahead. So the majority of the gift will be endowed in order to provide long-term impact and recurring funds. It is being utilized under a structure called the WKCTC Guarantee, our commitment to diversity, equity, and inclusion. And Dr. Reese, with input from his cabinet leadership team and others inside and outside the college, uh, to set up a seven sector framework. And one of those sectors is sector two, community connections. And that is what we're focusing on today. Along with the endowed funds and the long term impact, we do want to and are utilizing a portion of the gift for immediate impact. And again, that relates specifically to today. Uh, so it is my great pleasure at this time to, I don't know if introduce is the right word because I think everyone knows him, uh, but to turn the mic over, I guess, to our president, Dr. Anton Reese, who will take it from here. Thank you so much, Lee, and good morning, everyone. I am Dr. Anton Reese. I continue to have the incredible privilege to serve as president and CEO of West Kentucky Community and Technical College. I certainly bring greetings on behalf of the incredible and dedicated faculty and staff who serve 8,500 students uh, and workforce training throughout this region on an annual basis. And certainly on a daily basis, we pursue uh, that excellence that has garnished us uh, national recognition uh, and awards, uh, including the Aspen. Uh, stay tuned, May 18th, one o'clock Eastern Standard Time. We will see if this college uh, gets to be the uh, top college in the nation. 
I also bring greetings on behalf of the chair of the West Kentucky Community Technical College Board of Directors, uh, Chuck Murphy, and chair of the Paducah Junior College Foundation, Ann Gwynn. First and foremost, I want to personally thank each and every one of you, uh, and I'm really excited that you were able to take time away from the very important work that you do uh, as uh, your nonprofit organization's mission and vision to serve uh, on a daily basis to meet the varied and complex needs of all of our citizens throughout our region, Kentucky, Illinois, uh, and Tennessee. So how did we get here today for uh, to be able to do this special announcement of the WKCTC Guarantee Community Connections Service Award. And I would note, by the way, that this is one of two presentations. So uh, on May 6th will be another round, uh, if you will, of community groups and organizations. So we got here because on December 15th, 2020, I held a press conference and made the announcement about the historic $15 million gift from philanthropist Mackenzie Scott. Spent quite a bit of time reading and researching her background, specifically her passion and vision to identify and support organizations uh, and leaders who are committed to transformative change, particularly towards diversity, equity, and inclusion and lower socioeconomic members of our community. I noted that as part of the process, over 6,400 organizations were vetted uh, by her team, uh, but the majority of those were nonprofit organizations and then certainly a small number of community colleges and uh, HBCUs and other colleges across this nation. So indeed, I feel incredibly privileged, the body of work uh, through all the work again from the faculty and staff inside and outside of the classroom uh, garnished us this important uh, recognition. So then we got to work uh, over these last couple of months. I worked collaboratively with my cabinet, got input from uh, all sectors of our college uh, community, and then we worked uh, with what we call the Mackenzie Scott Philanthropic Grant Committee, chaired by Chris Black, uh, vice chair of the Paducah Junior College Foundation. And we implemented then the seven sector framework, a vision to truly transform our region generationally through the support resources that you'll be receiving today and the educational uh, support as well. So one of the sectors, specifically sector two, we were very intentional and we identified, and believe me, there are many organizations, but there were around 24, if my math is correct, uh, organizations that we looked at um, having impact and supporting and aligning with her mission vision of supporting DEI. <clears throat> so each of you today will be receiving a certificate, which I hope you can see me holding that up. I got to put the specs on to read what it says, right? Because you know, I got to follow instructions here. Uh, okay, so here we go. So each of you will be, will be receiving uh, the certificate, which is the WKCTC guarantee or commitment to diversity, equity, and inclusion. The, this WKCTC guarantee community connection service award is presented to the name of your organization. Say it out loud. There you, there you go. Uh, for dedicated service to the community and a commitment to equity and opportunity for all. The WKCTC guarantee seeks to further the vision of philanthropist Mackenzie Scott, benefactor of a historic gift to the college, expanding opportunities for those who have traditionally faced barriers to education. And it is uh, signed by me, uh, Anton Reese, president, along with the Paducah Junior College Foundation, which uh, serves as the administrator of the grant uh, and uh, our board of directors. All right. So uh, let me also uh, uh, say this, as I call on each organization, I will ask you to, uh, as I call your name, and um, to uh, you know, release your mics, and we'll give you up to one minute uh, to have a response uh, to the announcements as they are made. Are you ready? I said, are you ready? <laughs> All right. Uh, we ask for, you to mute, and then you want them to respond. What do you yes, but I, can, I can see the mouth moves a little. <laughs> Real good point. All right. All right. So first uh, and foremost, it, it gives me great privilege to begin uh, with Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority and Ruby Townsley and Nikki Orr uh, will be the representatives. You will be receiving $500 in direct support along with four scholarships the equivalent of $2,000 for a total award of $2,500. Ruby? 
or Nikki. Good morning, everyone. Is my president Ruby Tolliver on? I'm gonna give her the opportunity to speak first. If not, I will go ahead. I, I didn't see that Ruby uh, joined us, Nikki. Okay, well, I will go ahead. First of all, thank you, Dr. Reese and WKCTC for this opportunity. Uh, throughout the history of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, we have partnered with local, our local communities, regional, national organizations to solve problems, as well as to provide programs of service. Um, on behalf of Beta Omega Omega Paducah chapter, our president, Sora Ruby Tolliver, I am Nikki Gray Orr, the vice president of our program chair, and we appreciate the opportunity to serve within our community. And if at any time WKCTC needs partnership collaboration, please do not, um, please do not, um, do not, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> please uh, reach out to us and let us know how we can help you serve our community and re meet the goals of our kids. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, next up, Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity, uh, Patrick White, will be also will be receiving $500 in direct support for scholarships for $2,000 for a total of $2,500 towards your organization. Patrick. Well, on behalf of Alpha Phi Alpha Sigma Xi Lambda chapter, we are very appreciative and humbled, humbled by this uh, by this gift. Uh, we are uh, new to this area, but we are not new to the uh, uh, new to the fraternity and sorority organizations nationally. We they are we are the first African American fraternity uh, in in this country. And we are proud to be a recipient of this grant, uh, of this award, and we will utilize it to benefit this community. And we're very thankful for uh, West Kentucky Community and Technical College uh, for for seeing the need and providing the resources so that organizations like ours can carry out that mission. Thank you very much. On behalf of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated, we are we gladly accept this award. Thank you so much, uh, Patrick. Uh, next up is Delta Sigma Theta Sorority. Representatives Shanitha Donaldson and Melanie Nunn will also be receiving $500 direct support for scholarships, $2,000 for a total of $2,500. Melanie? Good morning, good morning, everyone. On behalf of the Paducah Alumni Chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated, I am so honored and pleased to receive these uh, funds from WKCTC. Lord knows we are working diligently to make sure that our students know that we are serving them in the community and beyond. We wanna make sure that once they're in college, uh, that they have the services that they need that we can be of assistance. So this will be great for us. We are so excited and I am thankful. And on behalf of my chapter and Delta's everywhere, uh, Paducah alumni has been operating for 75 years in this area. So we are just thankful that you can uh, recognize us for the work that we do. Thank you so much. Thank you, Melanie. Uh, next up, Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity, uh, Jico Ross, $500 direct support for scholarships, 2000 for a total of $2,500. Jico? Uh, SG, are you on representing Kappa Alpha Psi? I am. I'm the Paul Mark for Cap Alpha Psi Fraternity uh, in Paducah, and uh, we are just greatly, uh, greatly appreciative of this award. We want to thank Dr. Reese for his work uh, uh, in this community and at the institution. Uh, we understand that, you know, it takes great leadership, and when this DEI work is uh, difficult work, and when we talk about diversity, equity, and inclusion, um, and being at the table and having these conversations and bringing these community groups together, empowering us uh, to do more and, and be more. And so we appreciate that. Uh, this this uh, award, we thank the foundation for um, it's uh, again, it's a selection of our organization. And as you've heard from the other groups, you know, we're all dedicated to making a difference in our communities, uh, understanding how important uh, the opportunity for higher education is for those who are in our community. And uh, this 
and it was said earlier, but this is transformative in the sense that it puts us all at the table for one positive common goal, and that's to make our community better. Uh, we uh, are appreciative of everything that we get from folks in the community. We believe in leadership by example and service through sacrifice. Uh, and we understand that this is no accident. Uh, these things are intentional. And so Dr. Reese, we appreciate uh, your leadership. Uh, we appreciate all the, what the folks do at your campus uh, to make this a community better. And we will take this charge and we will make good of it. And, and again, not only the direct support, but the scholarships uh, to your institution, that's key, that's important. You know, affordability is extremely important and we understand that. And so uh, this is going to help in a tremendous way to supplement our scholarships. We just had a conversation about how are we going to double what we're trying to do and increase that. And you've blessed us with that today. So thank you, sir, and thank you to your institution. Thank you, uh, SG. And then uh, rounding up, if you will, uh, the Black, Black Greek organizations, Omega Psi Phi fraternity, Kenneth Hurt, $500 uh, direct support for scholarships, 2004, a total of $2,500. On behalf of the Omega Psi Phi fraternity, I'm the president, Kenneth Hurt. Uh, just thank you, thank you, thank you so very much. Uh, we're going to use those funds uh, for the underserved, underprivileged in our community. And some of those scholarship funds will be earmarked to West Kentucky Technical College. Uh, we just thank you so much. Uh, one of our cardinal principles is uplift. And so we're going to use those funds to use, be used for scholarship to uplift those in our community that are underserved and underprivileged. Again, uh, thank you to the West Kentucky Technical College, uh, Dr. Reese and Ms. Emmons. Thank you so very much. Thank you so much, Ken. And of course, I would uh, emphasize the community and technical college. It's a beautiful thing. Thank you so much. Uh, next up uh, actually is one of our newest initiatives by way of uh, intentional uh, outreach. Uh, to our Hispanic uh, community, both in Paducah and the Mayfield Graves area. Uh, so AJ Sales is going to be representing uh, the Hispanic uh, community. They will be getting direct support of $1,500 and up to 10 scholarships valued $5,000 for a total of $6,500. Uh, buenos dias, AJ Sales. Buenos dias. Um, actually, AJ Sales is an AKA. My first name is spelled like Angel, Angel. And since I have not earned my wings yet, I go by AJ, okay? I'd like to personally thank uh, Dr. Reese, uh, the staff, as well as the faculty. Uh, as a father of three daughters that graduated from this fine institution, I know the impact and the effect that education can have in people's lives. And especially in a fast growing sector of our community, which at uh, the present time is so a need of this. Uh, I would say probably 100% of the students, both boys and girls, and even young adults who will be attending this fine institution will be the first generation of higher education. And uh, obviously finances are the primary issue because most of the parents are working in, you know, entry jobs and the like. So this is gonna be a really historic moment in the lives of many, many people and in the life of Paducah, because uh, we're going to see a group of people that can then be part of the American dream. Uh, I am a refugee and I, and I know what education can do and whatever little success I've had has been because of education. So my, my deepest uh, congratulations to the, uh, this fine institution for the efforts to increase diversity and inclusion. And I'm so much looking forward to increase some uh, Hispanic uh, young folks into our fine college. Thank gracias. you. Gracias, gracias. And uh, Dr. Next. Reese, I'm going to jump in here just yes. to say, uh, representatives from the organizations being representative, don't be shy. We would love to see you on camera. So if you've already been represented uh, or already been recognized or are coming up, if you are willing and able, please uh, let us see your smiling face on camera <laughs> as we go forward. Thank you, yes. 
All right, next up, uh, the Merriman House Domestic Violence Center, represented by Kayla Myers and Mary Foley. They will be getting $2,000 in direct support, five scholarships valued at uh, $2,500 for a total of $4,500. Well, thank Dr. you. Foley? Yes, thank you, Dr. Reese and, and, and the college and everyone that had a hand in this. We were just so pleased to get this information and are honored to accept this award. I think it's important to, to note here that our founder, Merriman Kemp, who founded Merriman House more than 40 years ago, actually the idea for Merriman House became birthed in a class at the college uh, when she was taking classes and saw a need and in a, is actually in one of the classes offered there that she began to form Women Aware. So we certainly have roots with the college in that way. And I am an alumni of the college as well and graduated and really got my confidence and my love for telling stories through the uh, broadcast and telecom program um, at the college. And so feel honored to have been able to go on um, and tell stories of survivors and victims of domestic violence. And so we are uh, very much committed to diversity, equity, and inclusion um, because I certainly realize that violence is no respecter of persons. And yet so many of those that we serve have additional barriers. And so we are honored to be able to receive these funds to help you with this work and to remove barriers um, to allow folks to rebuild their lives um, once they begin that journey. And we couldn't do that without you guys. So thank you so much. We are humbled to accept this award. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Foley. Uh, and again, please all, all stay on camera. Let's, let's remain muted. Let's, let's stay on camera if we could all come back on camera. So this next you sector- go to the large is, gallery view, Dr. Reese, you can yes. see more. Um, Good. It's actually showing more than it is just in regular gallery view. So I'm able to see Mary, there yes. uh, and others as well in large gallery view. Yeah, thank you. All right, so this next sector of organizations that we want to recognize are the regional NAACPs. And as I'm sure you will hear from the various presidents, the powerful uh, role of the uh, NAACP. Uh, but uh, one of my favorite quotes from former chair Rosalind, Rosalind Brock said that education is the gateway to economic prosperity. And so, uh, with no further ado, let me bring on first from the Alexander Pulaski branch of the NAACP, uh, their president, Tyron Coleman. They'll be receiving $500 in direct support, five scholarships uh, for a value of uh, $2,500 for a total of $3,000. And I think Mr. Coleman, are you able to join us, Mr. Coleman? Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Yes, we can now. Thank you. Yes, I can. I can get my computer to sound coming through. Uh, I'd like to say good morning to everyone and happy Thursday to everyone. And uh, certainly we are uh, humbled to receive such an, uh, an award from uh, uh, WKTC. Uh, we certainly appreciate Dr. Uh, uh, Reese, and we just look forward uh, to being able to affect the lives of our students here in the area to help us continue to do that. And on behalf of the national branch, uh, which we celebrate 112 years, the oldest civil rights organization in the country. So again, thank you. And uh, it's really appreciative. Thank you, Mr. Coleman. Uh, next up from the Mayfield Graves County branch, uh, Bruce Dobbins. They'll be receiving $1,000 in direct support, five scholarships valued at 2,500 for a total of $3,500. Bruce? And Barry Craig. Well, I thank you very much. Uh, this is just incredible. We just began trying to organize ourselves to uh, uh, raise funds for scholarships uh, in memory of Ellis Wilson and Helen LaFrance, and maybe focusing on uh, those that are minorities that are trying to become artists. We know Helen LaFrance, for example, never did make much money off of her artwork, which is now worth millions of dollars around the world. And it's time to try to help artists uh, in that way is one of the things we're thinking about. Um, this is such a blessing to us. Uh, we are a very small branch. Uh, 50 is our minimum number we're supposed to have and we uh, bang at that little door all the time. 
and um, the a, a new little organization, a nonprofit called the Minority Enrichment Center, which is trying to help students. Uh, we're, we're partnering with them here in Mayfield to work on all of these things. Uh, I just can't say enough that it's sort of like I've been praying, oh God, how can we get scholarships started? And here walks in uh, West Kentucky Technical College and says, here you go. Uh, what a tremendous blessing. Uh, you know, this will help us in our fundraising in the future to say, you think we're important enough uh, where can we get uh, money? Our goal at some point is to try to build a large enough endowment that we have it automatically uh, producing scholarships annually. Uh, but, uh, you know, we figured at least $500 or gee, 10 people, you know, $10 from 50 people and we're there kind of thing. So we're thinking small, but we're, we're dreaming big. And thank you very, very much. Thank you so much, Dr. Dobbins. Uh, next and certainly not least, uh, will be our own uh, Paducah NAACP McCracken County chapter, represented today by Corbin Snarden and J.W. Cleary. They will be receiving $2,000 in direct support and 10 scholarships, uh, $5,000 uh, of value for a total of $7,000. Uh, Dr. Reese, uh, and also to WKTC, I would like to thank you for that. Uh, I want to take the attitude that actions speak louder than words. We've always tried to work hard with the college over the years. And uh, I heard somebody talk about uh, the college being their alumni. I guess, uh, really, it's been 45 years ago that I graduated from uh, WKTC. But uh, I tell you what, uh, <laughs> I've always enjoyed the relationship when working with all the people out there at the college. and. Uh, and on behalf of the Paducah branch of the NAACP, and I should say Paducah McCracken County branch of the NAACP, we like to truly thank you. But, uh, you know, what really, we, we, you got to learn to change with the times. And uh, I would be remiss if I didn't add uh, Corbin in on this conversation because uh, Corbin has been a, he's been a blessing for the Paducah branch of uh, changing, changing the, the, the situation. I mean, just like, even this morning, I even had trouble getting old here this morning, but I finally got old. But uh, Corbin, will you at least say a few words, please, on behalf of Casey? Oops. Certainly. I'll be very brief this morning. Uh, big shout out and big thank you to West Kentucky Community and Technical College and also Mackenzie Scott. Uh, as an educator here on this call, it is very uh, near and dear to me that we support all kinds of educational efforts. Uh, and especially, you know, our top 10 or Aspen, what are, aren't y'all number one now? <laughs> uh, supporting one of the best community colleges that we absolutely have in this country. And so making sure that we are continuing that pipeline and giving students the opportunity to further their education is near and dear to my heart. And I definitely want to say thank you to WKCTC for this opportunity. Thank you all so much. Uh, next is the Oscar Cross Boys and Girls Club of Paducah. And as many of you know, uh, this, when you talk about transforming generations, certainly with our youth, an investment in them certainly speaks volumes for our community. Uh, representing the Oscar Cross Boys and Girls Club uh, is uh, Director Neil Clark. They will be receiving $2,500 in direct support and 30 scholarships uh, valued at $15,000. They will be receiving $17,200. To seventeen thousand five hundred dollars uh, by way of awards. Neil. Hmm. Neil, are you on? Uh, he had a uh, he has a family medical issue that he's dealing with uh, today, and so Neil uh, may have not been able to join the call. All right. Okay. Next uh, is uh, the United Way of Paducah, McCracken County. Uh, and the incredible work uh, that they do as a nonprofit. Representing today will be Kelly Davis and Betsy Burkeen. They'll be receiving a direct support of $2,500, six scholarships valued at $3,000 for a total uh, support of $5,500. Betsy. Thank you so much. Uh, this morning, um, as I was thinking about uh, words to say to, to show my appreciation for this gift, I couldn't help but just go back to how we got here. Um, and as a donor, 
you know, it just means so much. And it's so encouraging to me that that you didn't have to do any of this. You didn't have to gift on. Um, but you look back at the original donor, Miss Mackenzie Scott, and said, you know, how can we honor her gift? And so, um, you know, just as as a, a as a peer fundraiser and also as a former student of West Kentucky Community and Technical College um, and as a parent, uh, I, I find great pride and honor uh, that we have this kind of college here with this kind of servant leadership that says, you know, we can teach our students in the books, uh, but we can teach them through integrity and honor and, and through loving one another as well. And so that's to me what this gift has done. Um, so I just uh, say thank you. And, and we at the United Way um, will we'll show honor back um, by regifting your do dollars in the exact same way. So thank you. Thank you so much, Betsy. Uh, next, the Mayfield Graves County United Way, Tanya Goodale. Uh, they'll be receiving $1,000 in direct support for scholarships valued at $2,000 for a total of $3,000. Tanya? Uh, thank you so very much. Um, a small chapter that uh, tries, tries, tries to give back. Uh, considering us for this, we are really honored. Uh, I, you know, I no longer live in the Cracking County area or the Paducah area, but I'm still continuing to uh, grow the chapter, and it is seriously an honor that you even think of us and to give this money. Um, we directly support the Merriman House, one of my favorite people, Mary, Dr. Mary Foley. Um, I want to make sure she knows this is going to be in direct efforts of continuing to support her. So in giving this to us, I'm able to give back to one of my favorite entities, uh, and that is the Merriman House. So again, Dr. Reese, thank you all so much. Thank you so much, Tanya. And our last uh, award for this first round uh, will be the West Kentucky Alumni Association, Deborah Spaulding representing. They'll be receiving $1,000 in direct support in addition to two scholarships valued at $1,000 for a total amount of $2,000. Deborah? Good morning, Dr. Reed. Thank you. And thank you, West Kentucky Community and Technical College. This is an honor, and we're very thankful to receive this blessing. The West Kentucky alumni is 54 years old. We love West Kentucky School because you gave us our start. Again, thank you. Thank you so much, Deborah. Uh, let me again give you all a round of applause. Give yourselves a round of applause for this incredible day. Thank you for uh, the incredible work uh, that you continue to do. Uh, hopefully, you all will be able to see ways in which, uh, together, uh, that uh, we demonstrate that we can not only be leaders here in our region, but across the Commonwealth of, of Kentucky, uh, and for that matter, the nation, the ways in which community partners uh, can truly address the complex needs of our community, ensuring that when we get all hands on deck, and that's the reason why diversity, equity, and inclusion lower socioeconomic uh, initiatives of these sorts uh, fueled through education really does become transformative uh, now uh, and the future and generationally. So what happens next? Uh, Lee Emmons uh, will be following up with each of you uh, about uh, receiving your actual awards. You will also be getting the uh, certificate, as I mentioned uh, earlier as well, and the uh, scholarship information form. So, so Lee Emmons will be following up uh, with each and uh, every one of you uh, for those next steps. Uh, again, in closing, I want to congratulate each and every one of these first round of organizations that do the incredible and important work of serving uh, citizens throughout this region. We look forward to the next surprise round of presentations on Thursday, May 6, uh, with additional organizations throughout our region. Thank you all. Have a great day. And this concludes uh, this special announcement from the West Kentucky Community Technical College uh, through the Connection Service Awards and the WKCTC Guaranteed. Have a great day. Thank you, everyone.